environmental hazards, pollution, plastic waste, diseases are some of the things that will be rife in any environment that is clogged up and does not allow for free passage of water. This is Orile Gomu, a particular street in Orile Gomu known as Orenaike. This is a canal, a passage of water that passes through that environment. This drainage is clogged up with so much refuse and apart from that, still water, the water is no longer moving. I mean, in an environment like this, it would be expected that because they have a local government chairman or possibly because there is a councillor who is elected into position here, the people in this environment will have a semblance of good governance. But when we look at this environment, yes, on one side are very beautiful houses. On the other side, however, are houses and shanties that may have been abandoned for a very long period of time. Take a look at the drainage passage of Orile Igomu LCDA, and this is the back of Orenaike Street. Taking a look at this drainage, it passes all the way, if I'm correct, to Orile Ejosa. Please, can we can we speak to you briefly? Can we talk to you? This canal. Uh, it leads to Togate. Where does it lead to? Uh, it leads to Togate. Which toll gate? Toll gate for Orile Doyin. Orile Doyin. All the way to Orile Doyin. Yes. Now, um, how long has it been like this? What you talk about was not last. How long has it been like this? Oh, the toll. Oh, the toll. Oh, the toll. Oh, the One year. Have you passed like that? Over one year. Hmm. More than one year. Let me explain. This place too is not an Orenike street. That is an Orenike street. Yes, this side, yes, at the back of Orenike. This place is the site and it leads to the other road. And let me say, let me say, leads to many streets like Memudu. It's supposed to be a street. And this gutter leads to that, uh, what is called, two gates. When there's a flood, it always overflows everywhere. Talkless, even two gates, as I'm saying now, two gates will not be able to pass there. Wow. Because of the road, the, the gutter there, the canal, everywhere there. So get now, as I'm saying now, is blocked as in yesterday rain, except if the, the, the floor there is down. As in yesterday rain, on uh, that was Saturday, and, and on, on, on Friday, the, the, the place was very bad. Very, very bad. So All this, this other axis, what is it called? This other axis, we don't really know the area of the street. But what is there that we only know that this, this place to this place is, 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 is uh, let me say, they, let me say, maybe they write it off. We don't know. But from here now down, the people there are complaining. Many people said they are even tired. Sometimes the little children will back them when they are going to school. Because there is a school. There's a way that they, they, they lead to the to, to the other side that they cannot even help themselves. Now, the, the interesting part of this report is the fact that there is a barbed wire fence. There is a barbed wire fence uh, separating that side of the road from this side. And as the woman said, it may not be out of point to say that this area 
can be called one of the forgotten ones, an abandoned area of this axis. So taking a look at uh, the kind of water. Now, this is just from one day of rain. What you see underneath the grass here is just the example of one day of rain. But adventure it rains for a few more days. This place will be totally impassable and the people, the residents of this area will find it very difficult to communicate and to actually go about their daily activities. site is not just for the people on this side of the divide. Other people from the other side of the divide also get to dump their waste in this canal. The pathway of a drainage can be seen somewhere in the middle of that bush, but it is barely obvious right now because all we can see is water, refuse, on the road now the other side of this canal not too full on this end but it's also obvious that uh, this water is still water going all the way to orile Joe reporting. not even the first time. The person I'm calling now, they said that's happened before. Ah. <laughs> Dry. In how many hours time? Let's see. 
process of Kobesi Electrical and Mechanical Research. I am Tommy Siojo and this is the Forgotten Points on MRT. Inside of the premises of this company this morning, there was a flood that has never been witnessed before in this premises. I mean as early as the early hours of the morning, 7 38 people were ready to work. But suddenly when the rain started, it became a difficult to move from place to place or even to find a way out of their offices. The water met them inside of their offices and those who had vehicles packed inside could not even find their way to move their vehicles out until the water had entered. A typical example is the level of water you can see on this shows you how high the water inside of the compound was as about 11 a.m. this morning. Let's speak to some of the staff and find out what the experience was like. The rain was up to like 60, 70 cm on this highway and it pushed this gate and the water entered inside and went into the warehouse, the factory and the office. Okay? This is due to the drainage system here. After they did this road here, we never experienced this before. But we've been here since 2017. Yes, we never experienced this before. But when they did this road now with the new level, it seems like there is some blockage on um, uh, the drainage. There is two drainage, but they are not enough to take all the water of the whole Oshodi uh, Expressway. It's not enough because there is a blockage, we don't know, from, from the civil walk backward. Okay. So this blockage need to be cleared before, before yes, because all the water is coming to the lowest point here. Yeah. And this, this flood, I have photos and I have videos, it was full and the water is not enough to go. There are two canals, this is this one, and there is another one combining the two, uh, the two highway, it's coming in the middle, coming, conveying here. So this needs to be addressed immediately by the authority, yes, because next train, I'm doing some level of uh, just to prevent water coming in for the time being, but need resolution. We need a permanent solution. We need a permanent solution. Okay, let's go into your warehouse and find out and see what the damage was like today. Went inside here and all the people here. traces of water. See, the level of water is about uh, 10, okay. 12 cm. Okay. And That's was, inside of here? Yes. Okay. And what's the likely damage to raw we, materials and machines that you have you here? You know, there are some machines yes. in the factory that being sparking because they are the panel, electrical panels are on the floor. They are on the floor. So those two machines are being sparking. But you we will not show that to us. Well, I will show you, but you will not know the extent of damage. Till, till we dry the water. I asked them to put off the electrical power supply okay. to dry all the factory in here. Okay. After we dry everything, we'll assess. Definitely there are some damages. Okay. So, uh, another question. And luckily, we are here. If it happened at night, it mm. would be a bigger damage. It would be a bigger damage. Because immediately all our staff um, they are working to take the water to take out. The water out. Okay, um, apart from the level of damage, what kind of power do you use? Do you generate your own power or are you supplied by PHCM? We have PHCM and we have a generator. And you have a generator. Mm -hmm. So were you on PHCM when they when they yes. rain? Yes. Not that yes. wow. Did they put it off? Uh, we put off immediately. You have to put off after? We have to put it off after we, we got the spark. Okay. We put it off and we were actually, I believe it's still off now. Let's check out your work. Let's go to the other side. Um, did you pack a car in this compound today? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. Were you able to enter? You didn't escape through the... No, my, my car was... Uh, how would I... My car swam. 
Oh, your car was swimming in the water. Swimming in the water. Wow. So I want to look at the level of uh, the water to the cars. In the car. Could a driver still go into the vehicle? No, certainly not. Certainly not. Wow. It was that bad. That bad. All right, so um, I mean, if you make demands from the government, what would you be asking for? Uh, I'll just ask them to fix the road. The road is fixed now. Fix the drinks. Fix the drinks, the drinks. okay. Because mm. I'm sure, uh, from what we experience, that is a major cause of the drug that we experience today. You know, another good question would be how many hours of rain did you experience? Today, it was very many hours. Not at all. Of course. Was it to I was, I was, um, I, I see us even being lucky, having it in the day. Mm. If this had happened during the night or on a holiday, rains. that means we have been in, in serious trouble. Mm. This, this is a really critical one, especially when Lagos State Government is fixing all the roads at the same time. Yes, yes. So they're doing a good thing, but in a way, it looks as if it's not really good. Maybe the people who are the contractors. So the contractors this is not the, the government's problem. It's the contractors, not somehow the government also supervises. So it means the government should supervise well. Should supervise well. Yeah. Is it construction component? No, it's not. It's not. No. But it looks as if they are creating damage in their way as they are constructing. It appears abandoned. As it is. Ah, when was the last time you saw it's any construction work down? Months? Three, four, five, six months. You're talking about months? Yes. I months. thought you we were saying weeks. No, months. Months of this work being abandoned. Abandoned. And this is the likely damage if you didn't come back to finish it. Everything stored the compact and started to enter the factory. We have a factory here, we have another one, we have our warehouse there. So the back here, we have a gutter there. Okay. And formally we block it to avoid snow and about to the okay. so I have to go in to make sure that I pull it off, to make sure so that, that the water can flow out. Through that place? Yes. Mm. And before then, the water has already stored most of our warehouse that we have here. At the back here? This one, there's no way it can go out, you know? Until we started breaking the wall Whoa. to make sure that the water can flow out. So before that, I'm telling you, we, are, we have a lot of damage. So have you done any work today? Have you worked today? We don't work today. All you've been doing is packing water? We don't work today. The water is all over. That's what we have been doing. We can see some of what we are wearing shot. It's because of the water. Level on the, the stain on the wall. This was the level. Okay, so I'm still you, standing in water. You see, you see here the level on the floor. Okay. So what do you use this room for? Is the storage Put for the light this to your factory. Face. All the accessories for the okay. dump. All the accessories for accessories. your production. Yes. Yeah actually is stored here yes and you're saying that the floor as a matter of fact i'm just standing inside of water as we speak so um and i think if i'm still standing in water about two three hours after the water was supposed to have gone down we had to break the wall here wow at the lowest point so that to evacuate water... the water out wow that's what we've been doing that's, otherwise this water has no any escape ah we can see Okay. Mm. You broke the wall in three places just to get the water flowing out, out of there. Yeah. We have to drag up this. Wow. I don't want to ask the question how much dollars. Maybe I should ask in Naira. The value of what you have inside of here. It is difficult to answer, but um, uh, after this exercise, we are going You'll to have to do an evaluation. To, uh, our insurance has come in. Okay, to also check it. We have you look insurance. actually very worried with the level of uh, damage that happened of here. Of course, of you, course. Are you anticipating I'm, more I'm, damage? I'm, I'm doing something to prevent uh, another incident. Because if mm. it happened today at night, we will have the same flood. So we are going to make measure now to block this entrance. So that it doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. And then, and then you've opened this place. Wouldn't this also bring in flood? You also block it back? No, it's higher than. It's higher than block. the ground. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. We'll try as much as possible to clean, and then we are going to assess all the damage. That has been done. Yes. We are going to call the, the insurance company for if there's any damage. If two hours, barely two hours of rain could cause 
this much damage, this much disruption in business at Scobesi Electrical and Mechanical Limited. I am wondering what's the night of rain or maybe two days of rain or even the seven days of rain that we usually have in Lagos. I am wondering what that will do to a company like this, especially an electrical company. I am particularly perplexed because this is a company that deals with power. So they're using power for their production, they're using power for their um, you know, different kinds of fabrication taking place in their warehouse and in their uh, engine room. I'm surprised that um, the job, the construction was abandoned, I'm quite surprised, five, six months and nothing had been done by the contractor for this long. I think government needs to do something and step into the matter immediately. My name is Tommy Sujo reporting for the Forgotten Ones and MIT.